In this video, we're going to learn how to make functions more flexible. When I say flexible, what I mean is that we can call the same function and yet have a different outcome each time. In this example that we see right now, we have a function named greet person. Each time we call this function, it's going to give us the same outcome every single time. Now, what if we wanted to change it so that each time the function is called, we can specify a different greeting? In order to do that, we'll have to use what you call function parameters. A parameter is a type of variable that's used to store information that's passed to a function. To create parameters, place them inside the parentheses of the function declaration. Going back to the first example, we can create a parameter, which we can call greeting, which is going to be of the string data type. Then in the trace statement, we can replace the static greeting with the parameter instead. And then when we call the function, we place the value that we want to pass inside the parentheses of the function call. The value that we are sending to the function is called an argument. When the function is called, the argument is stored in the parameter and is then used wherever it appears in the function body. So when we test the movie, we will see our custom greeting appear in the output window. If we wish to send another greeting, we can call the function again and pass a different argument. And then when we test the movie, we'll have two different outcomes that originate from the same function. A function can also have multiple parameters separated using commas. Here, we have another parameter that we will use for the name of the person that we would like to greet. And in the function body, we use both the greeting parameter and the first name parameter to formulate the message that we want to display in the output window. Greeting plus an empty string to add a space plus first name. And then when we call the function, the arguments are passed in the same order as the parameter declarations. Since the greeting parameter comes first, we write the greeting argument first, followed by the first name argument. And then when we test the movie, we'll see our customized message appear in the output window. 